All right, what's up, folks? Welcome to another Road Reflection. We're in the car again. Uh, probably the last video you'll see in the car for a little while because guess what? Live streams kick back up Monday, May 17th, 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific. And I'm very excited about it. We're, uh, I'm going to do live streams uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific. So uh, make sure you are subscribed to all of the channels. If you're if you're on Rockfin, go to rockfin.com slash krishmohanhaha. Make sure you are subscribed uh, to that channel. If you're on YouTube, make sure you're you're, you're still subscribed. Uh, I'm going to be doing a, a rock, Rockfin live streams for sure. Um Next week, I will do YouTube to announce kind of the change and to try to help some folks migrate over to uh, a platform that is a little bit more uh, friendly to content creators, such as Rockfin or Odyssey. Um, so that's that's going to be um, it's going to be the plan. Plus, I have a fun fun little surprise for everybody as well uh, uh, that that I think you guys are probably going to enjoy. So. Uh, with all that said and done, uh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get these little notes going because we we got a we got a story to talk about. Um, the World Socialist website just posted the other day, maybe a day or two ago, that Shama Sawant is uh, is joining the DSA. Um, I think they said that she's still going to be part of the Socialist Alternative, which is the party that she is. Uh, she, I think she might be the leader of. They, they, they reported that she was the leader of it. I'm not sure if that is accurate or not. But regardless, she's a part of the Socialist Alternative. She's a city council member in Seattle. Um, this was sent to me, uh, or, or rather, I, I, I'll say it this way, not this particular article, but a, a article that was kind of hinting that this might happen. Uh, that was sent to me by uh, a regular viewer uh, of the channel, Holly, who's who's fantastic. Thank you for sending that. And I and I read it, and then it and then you know the 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 world was still uh, kind of on fire, uh, and a bunch of other stuff happened, and I wasn't able to really talk about it because some some other things kind of took a little bit more precedent. So so now it's kind of official. She's 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 going to join the the DSA, and the reason why she's doing that, and the reason why the or what her statement says is that she's trying to build a larger left movement, a, a bigger movement for um, socialists. Uh, that that uh, socialists need a, a, a larger representation in American politics, and you know uh, the socialist alternative isn't uh, currently big enough to do that. Uh, part of part of that is because of because of the the duopoly. Both parties do actively censor and block any other third party that might come up uh and most famously you've probably seen that with the green party uh the democrats attacking the green party and the republicans attacking the libertarians uh but the the thing that we kind of forget about uh, or or i guess we as in as in uh us us lefties we don't forget about it uh but the quote normies the the sort of followers of of corporate mainstream media forget about is that the Democratic Party often also attacks socialists or any any sort of real socialist party. Um, and the DSA, from my understanding, isn't really a party. It's more of an organization. They, they don't they don't have candidates, but they do endorse political candidates and such. So, um, you know, the the more the most famous of those examples being uh, uh, AOC. Uh, Ilhan Omar, Rashida Tlaib, Jamal Bowman, Cory Bush, Bernie Sanders, right? And the pro and the crit uh, the critique of um, the DSA is that they have been sheepdogging people into the Democratic Party, which is true. I think the and and I'll and I'll specify a little bit further here is that I think the National DSA does do that they they do they do kind of sheepdog and herd people into the democratic party um by endorsing these these so-called socialists that run within the democratic party which uh i'll get into why that's a problem in in uh in a second here but uh they do do that 
I, I will say some of the local chapters that I have been uh, in contact with, and, and I know some, some members of various local chapters across the country, they've come out to support my show, uh, they've come out to support Lee Camp's show, and so on and so forth. Those, those local chapters actually do what, what the DSA is supposed to do. They help the community, um, they, they organize events, they organize rallies, uh, and they are not looking to particularly sheepdog people into the Democratic Party. They are looking to uplift the working class within their own communities. So I think, uh, again, th- th- this goes in, you know, similar to my critique of the Green Party. I think the National Green Party uh, is not great. And they haven't particularly done a great job of, uh, uh, of representing what the Green Party does is supposed to be but again i know local chapters uh that do a great job that 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 are on the ground organizing that are on the ground shining light uh on legislation and events and so on and so forth so uh, i will say as a national organization the dsa is responsible for sheepdogging through their endorsements and and that in and of itself (coughs) is the major concern with the socialist alternative uh, you know, Shama Savant joining the DSA and then also funneling members of the Socialist Al- Alternative into the DSA as well um, in this attempt to create a new left movement and a new left party. And the concern is, um, you know, the DSA is now going to just take Socialist Alternative members uh, and funnel them into the Democratic Party. And that is a valid concern. That's that. That's a concern that I think we should be worried about because because the Democratic Party, uh, you know, uh, contrary to popular beliefs, is not a left party. They are a pro-capitalist, pro-war, right-wing party, which means America has two right-wing parties. It's just varying degrees of of right-wingery is is um, what it is, right? Like the. The idea behind the DSA's endorsement of certain candidates within the Democratic Party. And at first I was like, you know, this is not that bad of an idea. I thought this idea was pretty good of, of like the, of, of endorsing uh, political candidates within the Democratic Party that have socialist leanings uh, in an attempt to push the party to the left. And I was like, OK, this seems like a viable solution. This seems like something that would that could work. Um Obviously, it turned out to be false, uh, and and uh, you know I, I didn't think that was a bad idea. Now, had the DSA taken an opportunity to say, okay, we will endorse you as a candidate, but not if you're going to run under the Democratic Party. We will endorse you if if you decide to register with the Greens or if you decide to register with the Socialist Alternative. We we would probably be having a much different conversation about people like AOC or Ilhan Omar, or Rashida Tlaib, Jamal Bohm, and Cori Bush. Uh, because they would not have been co-opted, manipulated by the Democratic Party to just become establishment stooges, which is kind of what they became. Again, the, 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 the people that are like pro-politicians are, are probably going to chastise me for, for saying this, as they have chastised many other people for saying the same thing. Um... The problem with what the, the the DSA strategy. This is something I found out much later uh, through research and, and and learning and and evolving my beliefs and so on and so forth. Is it is that it's been tried? Eugene Debs, who was a a, a a socialist, tried doing that in the 1880s. He tried doing that, and it and it failed. And what he discovered was that the Democratic Party has always been the party of corporations and the party of the industries, the party of the billionaires. And they will continue to be that. And he left and formed the Socialist Party of America. Uh, And the reason why a lot of people don't know about him and don't know about his presidential runs and don't know about how popular the Socialist Party of America actually was in the early 1900s is because, you know, America loves to revise its history and, and remove certain parts uh, of it out and not teach it to people and hide it, uh, you know, and uh, and all this information is out there for people to read and so on and so forth. So, uh, but Debs formed his own party. Now, again, that's that I think is what the DSA should have done. 
if they would have if they would have endorsed these candidates and said we will not we we will endorse you but only if you decide to run outside of this of this two party bullshit system then yeah i think that that would have been that would have worked out great um, and that is kind of the goal of what's going on here is Shama Sawan also said like she wants to build a new left party and there is some you know folks that are trying to build a new left party that's what the people's party is and i know there's some there's some controversy surrounding them uh on the left uh i'm not at liberty to particularly go into the details of that because i don't know enough about it i know one side of it i haven't heard from the other side uh so I'm, I, that and that's kind of where i'm gonna leave it but in, in terms of needing a new party that believes in leftist ideologies and is going to stand up for the working class, uh, the People's Party is one of them. Socialist Alternative is one of them. Um, you know, and, uh, and, and if the DSA was to register as a political party in the United States, uh, again, it would be a different story because we would actually have an alternative outside the Democratic Party. Now, with that said, though, it does give me some positivity that perhaps the DSA is shifting its perspective and saying, hey, we have ch- we have championed these politicians who are letting people down. And, and perhaps it's, it, it, you know, it saw the critiques that uh, World Socialist website wrote that that Lee Camp has made that many other left uh, true lefty people have made uh, and, and said, hey, you know, I think it's time to shift our uh, plan, shift our perspective, um, and and support actual socialists instead of what's going on with the Democratic Party, and and maybe this means that the as as much popularity and as much amplification as the as the DSA has received, they want to shift that over to the socialist alternative. I would hope that is what would happen. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if that if, if that actually happens. Uh, you know, so in the in the coming months, you could see some more socialist alternative candidates run for city council, uh, mayor's office, comptroller, you know, fucking governor, senators, what have you, uh, on a state level or on a national level, and the DSA endorses them, gives them a big bump. Um, and, and that might encourage people like Bernie Sanders to say, yeah, you know what? Fuck supporting the Democratic Party. Support these socialists that stand for all the shit that I, uh, that I campaigned on. That could be a thing that happens. Or you split the endorsement where uh, certain, you know, the DSA will, will push MPP candidates in certain positions or SA candidates in certain positions. But what needs to happen is this pullback from the Democratic Party. If the DSA continues to act as the way they are, um, they, they, they can't they have to take the, the socialists out of their name because the Democratic Party are not socialists. Far from it. They're pro capitalists. Biden, Pelosi, all of the leadership has come out and said that. And that's part of the reason why I was very excited about someone like Shama Sawant. Uh, not just because as an Indian person, it's very cool to see another Indian person that's also a socialist, that's also doing good things in politics, right? Because uh, we have such shitty examples of Indian politicians. But because she was an activist politician, she pushed back against uh, Amazon and won in many instances. Um she got homeless people uh, off the streets in the winter so that they wouldn't die. Now, is that, you know, I mean, it's radical in comparison to what's going on with homeless people now. But is that the fine? Is that the solution to the homelessness problem? Uh, of course not. Of course not. Uh, but it is a step in the right direction. So at least we're seeing some wins, right, rather than, um, you know, the shit that we see from the Democratic Party, which is like throwing breadcrumbs and saying, look, we made bold changes. And it's like, no, nah, I got a crumb. I'm very hungry, <laughs> you know. Uh, but that's what we need as a as 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 a as a party for the true left. We don't need someone that's going to throw platitudes on Twitter. We don't need someone that's going to defend Nancy Pelosi. We don't need someone that is going to that is going to champion Israel, who gets billions and billions and billions and billions and billions of fucking dollars from the United States. Is is a is is a, a, a thriving nation? Is a first world country that's attacking and occupying? 
a, 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 a state that can't defend itself, that doesn't have billions of dollars in arms fund, uh, that, that is also being terrorized by the same or, uh, terrorist group that's terrorizing Israel. We don't need politicians that are going to do that anymore. We don't need politicians that are going to gaslight the American people, that are going to blame a, 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 a shortage of um, uh, workers on the worker and not on the corporations and not on a government that's g- passing a, a livable wage or, or what Eleanor Goldfield has started calling a thriving wage. We need a wage that's going to help us thrive. We need politicians that are going to fight for that and push for that. And we need more of them in, in positions of power. That's what we need as a true left party. We need someone that is going to be on the streets with us. It's going to open the doors to the Capitol so that p- protesters and activists can go into the Capitol and, uh, and not, you know, fucking steal desks or whatever or whatever happened on January 6th, but let their voice be heard by the politicians that need to hear them so that they can get their head out of the fucking clouds and be less out of touch and understand what we're struggling with how we're struggling and why we're struggling. We need politicians that are going to help us do that. We need politicians that are going to fight for real bold change. And Shaman Samant was one of them. So I'm, I'm hoping that this this merger of sorts is not a merger for sheepdogging, but a merger for real bold change that we can see in, in 2022. You know, um, maybe, maybe it does mean that more socialist alternative candidates are going to be running for some positions that might oust someone like AOC or Rashida Tlaib or Ilhan Omar or Cory Bush or Jamal Bowman or any of or Joe Manchin or any of the shit Democrats that are in office right now that aren't aren't fighting for you. That would be the that would be the best outcome out of this. Um, and I'm hoping for that outcome. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed that that comes out. So we'll have to keep, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll try to keep tabs on this as much as I can. And, and, and if I miss a story about, about this particular topic, I always encourage people to uh, email or message me links and I'm happy to, I'm, I'm happy to look at them and cover the story. So uh, anyway, we're going to wrap things up here. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, like I said, live streams coming back next week, Monday through Wednesday, 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific. Um, and you know, you guys know the deal. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com. That's K R I S H M O H A N H A H A.com. Um, you can become a sustaining member, make monthly contributions. You can make uh, a one time donation, download an album, uh, or all the albums, catch past episodes of Road Reflections, The Dispatches, Taboo Table Talk, Fork Full of Noodles, buy tickets to virtual comedy shows. You can do a bunch of shit on my website. Um, so if, uh, you know, if, if, if the spirit moves you, go check that out. Um, and, uh, until next time, until next week, you guys have a fantabulous weekend. Uh, stay strong and we'll see you on the road. Bye guys.